How to make a battery when the grid is dead and your flashlight's a paperweight. No power, no stores. And the last fresh battery? It's in a Raider's pacemaker. Time to MacGyver some juice. Step 1. Scavenge like a rat. Stuff you need. Copper. Strip wires from old electronics. Toasters, power cords, even that broken radio. Zinc. Soda cans. Peel the lining. That's your ticket. Or gut a flashlight battery. Careful, it's spicy. Acid. Lemon juice, vinegar, or that suspicious water in the basement. Container. Mason jar, glass bottle, or a hollowed-out cactus, if you're extra desperate. Step 2. Build the battery. Sand the metals. Use concrete, a rock, or your last shred of patience. Copper on one side, zinc on the other. Don't let them touch, unless you want a weak battery. Connect wires to each metal. Wrap them tight or chew the ends for better contact. Submerge an acid. The liquid, not your life choices. Seal it. Duct tape fixes all. Even radiation burns. Zinc dissolves in acid. Copper soaks up electrons. Connect wires to both metals. And boom. Juice flows like raider tears. If your hands tingle, congrats. It's working. If they melt? Well, you needed new fingerprints anyway. Step 3. Test your luck. If it works, you're Edison 2.0. If it fails, well... At least the acid can dissolve evidence. No Duracell, no problem. Just remember, in the apocalypse, sparks mean hope or immolation. Hit subscribe or risk being unprepared when the apocalypse comes. And trust me, Steve the Warlord will steal your battery.